Okay. So today's topic is script writing or screenplay. I'm gonna assign in an assignment to you guys. This will be due today, 5 p.m. Okay. Ito yung itsura ng activity. Paliwanag natin. To use. Tama ba ito? To see. Okay. So the activity will con will be, will have uh, two attached files. Yung isang, yung unang file, lecture. Ito yung lecture natin. I-discuss ko today, naka-attach pa rin siya din sa document para ma-review -re nyo. Yung second document na naka-attach, dun kayo magsasagot. So, nakaayos na to. May sample na kasama. I-overrate uh, na lang yung nakalagay dito. Okay? Yung sa sasagutan, mayroong link, YouTube. Dito sa YouTube video na to, meron tayong dalawang clip na ipapalabas. Papanoorin natin. Late na naman ah. Happy ending ng love story nila Randy at April Lynn. Pero sir, paano po natin yung gagawin? Dapat, magmukha nakamove na si April. Okay. So, dalawang clip yon, Yung face-to-face -face class, eight clips yung ginawa nila ng script. So, papanawin nyo pa ulit ulit. And then, you're gonna write the script for those two clips. Ay, okay, meron na dito ang nakalagay, clip 1. So, dito niyo lagay yung script doon. Clip 2, dito sa baba. So, how do we write a screenplay or a script? First, let's discuss what a script is. So, a script contains instructions on how a film will be shot. So, you're writing instructions. Para kay programmer, Pwede yung susulit niya sa script, yun yung magiging guide ng production crew. Okay, ng director, cameraman, and most importantly, yung ating mga talent, mga art artista, actors and actresses. So, hindi lang yun, yung set designer, yung mga prop designer, dito rin sila didepende kung paano nila i-design yung set, kung paano, ano yung mga props na kailangan. Sa script pa rin. Okay. It describes the set, calling action, dialogue, elements of storytelling. A script allows the director and producer to visualize the whole film before even starting production. Okay. So kapag yung director, meron siyang gustong gawing na pinikula, Nalapit siya sa mga producers. Oh, paano mapapapayag yung producers? Creating a film requires millions, millions. Kahit guys yung mga naririnig nyo na mga independent films, mga indie. Kahit pas sinasabi na low budget yan, yes, low budget compared to uh, Hollywood films, compared to full um uh, movies produced by studios. Maliit yung budget nila. Pero, millions pa rin yun. Isang million pa rin, ganun. Ma so, as producers, as financing entity, bago ako maglabas ng pera para sa pinikula mo, I wanna, I wanna visualize it. Para sigurado na babalik yung pera ko. So, ano yung gagamitin natin para makasigurado ako na maganda yung pinikula mo? Yun yung script. Because the script will let you visualize the whole film. The whole film. Okay? 
So here we have a screenshot of a sample script and then yung elements ng script. Nandito sa tabi. This is from Studio Binder. Nasa baba yung link. Studio Binder. So aside from uh, script writing, marami pang nakalagay doon sa so, website nila. So visit the website for for more info if you want more details. So yung i-discuss natin, hindi lahat yun lang required na elements. Some of the elements are situational. Some are required. Sinabing required, every time you write a script, dapat meron yun. So when we're writing a script, we are creative. Diba? Creative tayo. Creative in telling the story. But a script is a technical document. Technical siya. We're gonna use a standard, a set of standards. Hindi tayo magiging creative pagdating sa formatting, pagdating sa verb tenses, susunod tayo sa isang format, isang uh, standard. Okay? Yung creativity nyo, dun yung ibubuho sa content, sa storytelling, sa story. Okay? But as far as how the script is gonna be written, we're gonna follow a standard. Unang-una dyan, itong format. Okay. Isa lang ang magiging itsura ng mga script natin. At ito yun. Kapag nag-check ako ng gawa nyo, ito yung una kong titignan. Basta sablay, dito, iskuran ko na. Hindi ko na mababasa yung content nyo. Iskuran ko na yun kasi, so, tignan nyo naman yung chinecheckan ng natin. Chinecheckan ko. Kaya mabilis ang pag-check. Rewind. Dami niya. Dami eh. So, mabilis ang check. O, pagka sablay ang format, higyan natin ng 2 points. Ang gagamitin nyo, just like the previous activity, gamitin nyo yung sample document. Again, I prefer Google Docs para nakakapag-suggest uh, ng edit at nakakapaglagay ng comments. Alright, let's proceed. So, when we're writing scripts, we are describing scenes. Okay. Yung previous activity natin in, uh, sa writing, yung mga essay na ginawa nyo, yung story structure, ang sinusulat natin doon ay mga yung story plots. So, napaka-high napaka level natin when we're writing the story structure. Gusto natin isang page, alam na natin yung mangyayari sa buong kwento. But here in, in uh, a screenplay, we are gonna be very detailed. Dito na natin talaga ikakwento. In detail. Okay? And we're not gonna tell the story using the narrative format. Hindi tayo mag-narrate. Okay? Ikakwento natin yung story by showing action. By describing action and dialogue. Mamaya, uh, discuss natin ng in detail yan. So, let's discuss the smallest, uh, ang tawag dito, yung pinaka ma ma late na aspect ng inyong film. So, yung yung film is just composed of hundreds to thousands of frames. So what you have to remember, movies are just a set of pictures. Mga picture lang din yan. Picture that are played in sequence ng mabilis, madaming frames, creating the illusion of motion. So ilang frames ang kailangan 
we have a couple of standards. So, meron tayong tinatawag na frame rate. This is the number of frames per second. Meron tayong US standard, 30 frames per second. So, 30 frames for 1 second of motion. UK standard is 24 frames per second. Uh, hindi ibig sabihin na sa US talagang 30 frames lang lagi. Hindi. Ito lang yung uh, kadalasang ginagamit nila noong bago pa lang ang film. Of course, some uh, some productions in US use 24 frames per second, especially Hollywood. 30 frames per second is very common in live broadcast, yung mga, tele, yung mga TV series lana sa Pilipinas. Pero yung mga series nowadays, they're using 24 frames per second. Kasi ito yung cinematic. Mukhang pinikula. Kasi nga, ito yung ginagamit sa cinema. The higher the frame rate, frame rate is, the less motion blur. The lower the frame rate, mas nagmo-motion blur. Okay? Y yun yung uh, talagang kaibahan niya. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, kahit wala kayong alam sa camera, wala kayong alam sa frame rate, alam ng mata nyo, nare-recognize ng mata nyo. Kapag ito ay TV lang, TV show lang, or kapag ito ay pinikula, minsan manunod ka ng TV show, tas parang mapapansin mo, Ibang, iba quality nito, ah, parang pinikula. Ah. Kasi, nilaro nila, hindi sila nag, uh, nag-deviate sila from the normal frame rate na pang TV, ginamit nila yung pang film na frame rate. Okay. Bakit daw cinematic yung 24 frames per second? Because of the motion blur, sakto lang daw yung motion blur. So, it it's very close to the motion blur that is produced by the human eyes. Oh. Try nyo yung kamay nyo. Oh, yung kamay nyo. Lagay nyo sa harap ng mukha nyo. And then, shake your hand. Tingnan nyo yung kamay nyo. Di ba? Nagmo-motion blur. Kung sharp pa rin ang tingin nyo doon, kung sharp pa rin ang tingin nyo dito, Baka, ibang klase mata nyo, pang cyborg. Oh. Hindi nagmo-motion blur. Kahit ngayong webcam natin, oh, motion blur. Kasi mababa ano maba, maba, frame rate nyan. Yung sa games, mataas ang frame rate. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, sharp lagi. Minsan yung motion blur, Ina-add pa nila yan para lang mag-motion blur kasi ang taas ng frame rate. Ina-add pa na effect yun sa games para mag-motion blur. Yung mga slow motion natin na shots, hindi mo magagawa yun pag 24 frames lang. So you need a higher frame rate. Kung i-slow mo mo yung shot mo. Wala naman tayong problema kahit ilang ilang frames. Hindi naman tayo mapapagod kasi camera gagawa niyan. Camera ang gagawa ng mga frames na yan. Excuse me. Ang problema sa animation, tao magdo-drawing bawat frame. Kapag 30 frames yan, kawawa na tayo. Kawawa na yung animator. Luckily for animation, Madaling dayain. 12 frames per second. Pwedeng mas mababa dito. Pwedeng mas mataas ng konti. Pero hindi talaga ginagamit yung pang film. Kasi nga ang dami nito masyado. Eh minsan, yung anime mo nakatayo lang naman. No, drawing mo pa ng 30 frames yun. Siyempre dadayain mo na. Papagalawin mo na lang konti yung buhok. O, minsan yung bibig na lang yung gumagala pag nagsasalita. Minsan nga hindi na, kahit may dialogue hindi nabo kayong bibig eh. Picture lang talaga o dinaya kayo. 
Kasi napaka hirap i-produce talaga pag animation. So, yung motion blur kasi, kahit 12 frames per second yan, hindi ibig sabihin, sobra-sobrang motion blur, hindi. Nadadaya sa animation ng motion blur. So, i-drawing mo ng blurred, hindi motion blur na yun. Oh. Dito kasi camera talaga ang nagagawa ng motion blur. Sa animation, yung artist na rin. Pero nowadays, may effects. May mga effects that can give you motion blur. Oh, let's talk about the... Ah, hindi pa natin pala na-discuss yung format. Mabag tayo sa format. Paper size, US letter. Ito yung short band paper nyo. Marunong bang mag-set sa Google Docs? Anyway, yung ating doc. By default naman, a Google Doc will be using the letter size. So, just go to File, Page, Setup. At the very bottom, just above the print option, page setup, ito yung paper size. So, by default, naka-letter na naman siya. Okay? Let's talk about the margins. Ito, margins. So, everything will be 1 inch, except for the left margin, 1.5. Mas makapal ng konti. This is because when this, when a script is printed, Na-print na script. May mga sinusulat dito sa tabi. Mga inscription. O baka sign of Photoshop. Postpros. Yan. Let's say this is a printed copy of a script. So top we have uh, one inch, one inch then, the right, one inch to left. I one point five sorry one point five to left, bottom one inch then. Okay, the margins not there. It's because uh, when this is print, uh, printed out, pwede, parang pwede pang makapaglagay ng information dito sa left side. Okay? Most of the time, yung uh, shot, shot list, pwede isingit dito. Ipinaplano nila kung paano isushoot yung eksena, dito nila susulatan. So, yun yung ating margins. Okay. There are some elements that has their own margins. Didiscuss natin yung mamaya. Okay. Katulad nito. 3.5 inches margin, 2.5 inches margin. Mamaya, daanan natin. So, ito yung pinaka-basic natin na format. You should be able to follow. You should be able to follow this. So let's talk about the first element in our script. This is something that is required. We always start a scene with a scene heading. Okay. This element is required when Starting a scene. Starting, starting a scene. It describes the location and time of the scene. Format nya, left align, all caps. Just like in our example, ito yung ating scene heading. All caps, left align. Bukas tayo ng Final draft. Let's take a look at different examples. Okay. Open tayo na other examples. Script writing. 
Bolivia. Let's talk, let's take a look at a script written by your predecessor. Mga third year ka ngayon. Okay. Okay. Scene heading. Scene heading. Scene heading. Right. So the scene heading starts with either int, int, or text. So int means interior or nasa loob ng isang structure. Exterior means outside of a structure. If you have structure, any enclosed structure, it could be a building, it could be a vehicle, Okay. bus, spaceship, barco, that will be considered a location. And then, after that, dapat yung int and x natin may that, may period, full stop. And then the location. Okay. Uh, house? Uh, White House. The time Ano muna, space dash space, tsaka yung time. 8.41 a.m. Yung ating location para kayong nagagawa din ng address. You start with the small, the, the specific location in that building. Say for example, Oval Office. Comma, space, White House. You should be specific kung saan talaga. Na White House, pero saan doon? Kasi balawak yan, White House. Okay. Ano pang example ng... So, mali tayo. In interior dapat. Interior. Tawag tayo sa audience. Okay. Lotete, Lotete, are you there? Are you with us? Sarah? Oh, gagawa ka ng scene heading. Nasaan ka ngayon? Pa. <laughs> Saan ka ngayon? Ha? Sa bahay po, sir. So, sa bahay ka? Bahay nina. Bahay niya. So, you can say that your your location is Lotete. Lotete ba? Lo oh, tama ako. Mamali na naman ako ng sinasabi. Lotete. Residence. So, ganyan na pag bahay. Lotete residence. Are you inside? Baka nasa bubong ka eh. Interior. Specific part of the house, Sarah. Sa room po. Room Nino. Ako po, sir. Sana all may room. Kwarto po. Oh, yeah. Sarah's room. Kama. Yung house. Ignore. Time, 8.43. Space, dash, space, 9, uh, 8.40. So, ito ha, sa time. Uh, discuss natin yung time. We can be very flexible when it comes to time. Kung importante yung specific time sa scene, hindi ilagay niyo specific time. Kung importante yung specific time, let's say, gusto nyong... Gusto niyo yung lighting, 
Tapos yung gamitin yung lighting for, for that specific time. Hindi lagay nyo dyan para may guide pag nag-shoot. Okay, remember, script is a guide for the production team pag isushoot na. Kung hindi importante, you can just say, you can just generalize the time. Morning. Pwede. Mas general pa dito. Day. And hindi importante yung oras. Basta araw siya isushoot. Okay? Pwede rin lunchtime, noon, midnight. Okay? Let's say this scene is a, a few moments after the first scene in the White House. And then you can say few minutes later. Kung ano yung Importante din sa eksena. Yun ang, ilal yun ang gamitin nyo. Balik muna natin sa 8.45. Kung importante yung seconds, you can include the seconds. Milliseconds, whatever is important. Okay? If this scene is just continuing the previous scene, Pwede nyo na lang ilagay sa time. Continuous. Okay? Continuous. That means, pinagpapatuloy nyo lang yung time. Dun sa previous scene. So, real time siya. Real time yung paglipat ng location. Real time. Okay? Let's say, for example, yung eksena is neither inside or outside a structure. Ano nangyayari to? Let's say, for example, lang pinapakita lang natin sa screen is a black screen tapos dialogue. Diba? May dialogue lang tayo naririnig pero black screen. Okay, baka nag-black out yung character or something. Pag ganito, hindi tayo, hindi, uh, hindi, hindi tayo specific when it comes to Interior or exterior, you can use I. Ito, I. E. Slash. Pwede ito. So, this means we're neither inside or outside. I. And I. E. Black screen. Hindi tayo, hindi natin din, pwede natin wag specify in time pag ganito. Because it doesn't really matter. So that's our first element. Okay? First element. The second element. Is the subheader. Okay? Subheaders. It's just like your scene heading with less information. We use this when there are minor changes in a location. For example, and dito tayo sa, kay, sa room ni Sarah. Tapos, lalabas lang siya ng pinto. So, lagyan natin ng action. Hindi, wag na. Mamaya na yung action. Sisilip lang siya sa pinto. So, yung camera natin will be outside Sarah's room. So, hindi na natin kailangan ulitin yung int. Outside Sarah's room. Interior pa rin yun kasi nasa loob pa rin ng bahay. Kahit hindi na natin ulitin yung buong location. Kasi nga, yung labas ng pinto is just part. Nakadikit naman siya. It's adjacent to the previous location. So, it's a minor change in location lang siya. Okay? Pwede natin sabihin na lang, hallway. Either. Hallway. Kasi understood naman yun na, itong, lahat naman ng uh, room, pag binuksan mo yung pinto, may, hindi pa naman labas ng bahay. 
O, pwede naman yung minsan yung room natin, paglabas natin, living room agad. Okay. O, hindi naman, pwede ba yung paglabas mo ng room mo, train station? Train station agad? O, depende kung magical yung ano mo. Pero pag ganito, it's a ma major, kahit pasabihin natin sa story nyo, kung lalabas si Sarah ng room niya, train station agad. Hindi siya pwedeng maging subheader because this is a major change in location. So, pag ganito yung next location, exterior yan, train station, uh, platform, train platform, train station. Okay. So, it should be a regular scene heading. Pero kung living room lang yung labas niya, it's still part of this structure, subheading, subheader na lang. Okay. Another example ng subheader, let's say meron tayong scene heading, exterior. Exterior, kalye. Demonyo. Okay. Tapos, lumiko lang siya sa isang eskenita. Which is still part of, which is adjacent to Kalye Demonyo. Eskenita. Eskenita. Subheader na lang. Okay. Next, after ng scene heading, subheader, action. O, ito, balikan nyo, babalik, balik, balikan nyo to later pag gagawa na kayo ng activity. Kasi ang dami nagkakamali sa action. The action describe the set. Describe nyo muna yung set. Anong meron doon? Para yung set designer, alam niya yung gagawin. Ano yung dapat na props. Okay. And then we describe the initial action. Parang sa play. Screenplay nga ito eh. So saan magsisimula yung mga actors mo? Ano yung ginagawa nila? When we start rolling the camera. And then, yung mga magiging action and dialogue. Ah, hindi pa yung dialogue. Sorry. Separate yung dialogue. Hindi may magiging action nila sa eksena. Okay. So let's do that. White House, Oval Office. Describe natin yung set. So Oval Office naman, common information. Kapag na, kasi isa lang na may itsura nito. Pwede natin i-describe. Uh, we can see the President. looking out the window. Ah, hindi pala natin na describing set. Eh kasi nga, common information na naman yung Oval Office. I-google mo lang to. Alam na natin kung hindi ka pa familiar. As, sige, describe natin na lang prop. So, let's say meron tayo at the table We see uh, a silver cylinder is on on the table. That is not a very appealing sentence, but it. Uh, demonstrate demonstrates a description of a prop. So, my silver cylinder dun sa table ni President. We can see the President looking out the window. Okay. And then we can describe the action.
the president 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 turns his head to glance at the object on his table he looks worried so kulang tayo ng description sa set kasi hindi naman natin kailangan i-describe yung set so pag hindi natin din describe yung set hindi kung ano lang yung typical yung typical na nakikita sa isang set sa isang oval office hindi yun na lang ilalagay na so, try natin itong kay Sarah Okay, tayo ng action. Let's describe the set. Now, Sarah, can you describe the set? Pa. Describe your room. May swimming pool pa dyan. Makalat o sakto lang. The May bed, bed lang, lang po at gitara po. Wow. So, prop yun, prop. The... Ang kulay ng room mo. The walls of the room is pink. Para pong wooden. Wooden pink. Wooden pink. We... There is a guitar at the corner. At the corner. Near the window. There is a dead body on the floor. Aside The room is clean. Overall, <laughs> the room is clean except for a couple drops of blood. Oh, na describe natin yung set props. So, kailangan pala ng dugo dito ng patay na katawan. Alam ng set designer, ng prop designer, yung kailangan niya dito sa eksena na to. Let's describe the initial action. We see Sarah. Anong, saan ka naka, ano ngayon? Study table or sa bed or sa bubong? Isame, nakabalik tayo. Sa bed po, tapos nakalagay po yung study table. Sitting. On... The bed laptop with her Minsan po Hindi yung ngayon, laptop CP lang po On with her mobile My phone She is currently She is, hindi currently she is on a video conference. We describe natin initial action and then describe natin yung action. We hear a notification sound the, vo the teach Teacher speaks. Pagyan na lang muna tayo. Balikan natin later. Black screen. Pagyan natin ang... Oh, hindi na natin madidescribe yung set. Sabihin na natin. Uh, wala. Wala tayo nakikita. Black screen nga eh. Wala tayo nalagay na set dito. Walang prop. Okay. Unless, meron tayo maririnig na sound. 
uh, we hear a wearing sound. What oh, am spelling ng wearing? Spelling nga tayo. Continue. No, I sorry. Uy, Kaylee. Wala spelling ng kalik. Ito, gusto ko i-spell check. Sabi, wala. Tama. A wearing sound. O yun, mga sound effects pwede. Okay. Pwede mong sabihin, Q. Pusong ba to? Q music. Pusong ba to? Pwede ganyan. Okay. Kalya demonyo, I know. The street is full of vehicles. Ang hirap nito i-shoot, no? Wala, wala vehicles. Tapos kanita. The walls are Filled with graffiti. 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 Ayan. Wala na. Next element. Oh, ito nga pala. So, pag sa action, you can use the third person to describe the initial action. Pinaka-common na approach niyan sa third person na yan is yung we see. Sumulan mo yung sentence mo with we see. Katulad ng ginawa natin dito. Initial action ng ating first um, scene. We can see. Oh, what can see? We see the president looking out the window. So, pwede tayo mas specific dito. We see, a ma we see the president standing standing with his Hands resting on his back, looking out the window. The president turns his head to glance at the object on his table. He looks worried. Dito naman kay Sarah. We, may we see ba tayo dito? Ayan, we see Sarah sitting on her bed with her mobile phone. She is on a video conference. Okay? And then, katulad nun sa story structure, simple present tense ang gagamitin. Kapag sin sinabing simple present tense, nandun sa document na sa bandang baba, meron tayo dun. Simple present tense section. It's simply the S form of the verb. Katulad nito, Hulk smashes the enemies. Cardo jumps and guns down the goons. Becky May is Commander Robot is okay, S form. Unless plural yung noun. So, we still need to follow your uh, subject verb agreement. Plural noun, singular verb. Singular verb, tsaka tayo gagamit ng S form. Okay? Pero kapag uh, kapag we see yung ginagamit natin na sentence, we start our sentence with we see, ing yung ating verb form doon. Yung ing niya. Tama ba spelling? Tama niya. Pusong ba to? Bawa. Bawa. So let's uh, take a look at our grammar. A cylinder, a cylinder is on the table. We see the black president standing, resting. Oh, kasi we see the we see we see sentence there. The president turns. He said, 
to glance at the object on his table. He looks worried. Okay, kung itong sentence na to, hahatiin natin sa dalawa, he turns his head, period. Kung gusto niyo mas dramatic, pinagbukod natin yung pag-turn ng ulo at yung pag glance niya sa object. He glances at the object on his table. Okay? The walls of the room is wooden pink. There is a guitar. There is a dead body. The room is we see Sarah uh, yeah, sitting, di ba? We hear a notification sound. Ang pa meron dito. The walls are fulfilled with graffiti. Kasi plural yung noun dito. So we use are. Next natin na element. Mamaya balikan natin tong action kasi yung mga common mistakes. Mabalikan natin dyan. Oh, hindi pa pala tayo tapos sa action. So if it's your first time mentioning a character, iyo all caps niyo yung pangalan and then it should have it should contain casting direction. Oh. Tulad nga nang sabi natin kanina, when you're writing a script, you're giving instructions to the whole crew. So, so far, we've been giving instructions to the set designer, prop designer, to the actors. We also need to give instructions to the casting director director or casting agent. So, pag ready na i-shoot yung script, paano ko hahanapan ng cast itong character na to? So, using this uh, style. So, age. So, name followed by the age and a short description kung ano yung gust gusto nyong makita ng tao pag lumabas ng character na to. Hindi to katulad ng sa story structure na ginamitan natin ng name, adjective, plus occupation. So, hindi ha. Hindi. Iba to. We need casting direction. So, balik tayo din sa script natin. We see the president. 40s. Tall. Kung si Obama to, ay di black. American. Ay, sorry. African American is a more politically correct term. So it should be capital. Delay. Sorry naman. American. Okay. So it, because it's our first time mentioning our character. So the next scene natin, First time natin ma-mention si Sarah, we describe her, 45 years old, <clears throat> pale skin, thirty-five moles in the face, oh. mga ganyan description, pretty. Ayag kayo, ah. Pretty. Ugly. <laughs> Yoko lang. Siyempre, pretty. But, trying not to be yung mga ganun, mga ganun style. Okay. Kung nahihirapan kayo mag-describe, isipin yung, isipin, imagine yung artista na, na, na imagine nyo for that character. Hindi gamitin yung description ng artista na yan. Okay. Kung importante yung height, kung importante yung complexion, sa story, dun sa scene, yun ang uh, i-mention nyo. Sa age, pwede tayong flexible. Any word or phrase that describes age would suffice. So, pwedeng mid-twenties, infant, baby, uh, adult. Uh, One percent. So, nga nakikita to, one percent na lang daw. Si Prince, ano ata yun? Si Raul, yung mga nasa social media. One per, mukha na lang daw one percent si 
Prince ha, sino ayon si Prince Prince Charles ba yan? Ay, patay na ata ah. So, yun, pwede. Any, a teenage, pwede rin. Young adult. This is your casting direction. Okay. Ito, tandaan nyo sa action. Describe the set, the props. Simple present tense. You can use this third person. Ilipat nga natin ito. Yan. So, yung mas priority natin. Ito, lagi nyo tatandaan pag nagsulat kayo ng action. Nakapagbigay ba kayo ng proper instruction sa set and prop designer? Did you give instruction to the actors? Anong gagawin nila? Initial action nila and ongoing action. Sa casting director, may binigay kayong information. O, yan yung mga bagay na kitingan nyo. Pero guys, pagka na-describe nyo na yung, alimbawa, for example, dito. Na-describe nyo na siya dito. Ay, punta kay Sarah. Describe nyo na yung set dito sa eksena na to. If you're gonna be using this location again, tapos wala namang pinagkaiba dun sa current state niya from this scene, hindi nyo na kailangan i-describe ng pa ulit, ulit Unless may bago. Let's say may bagong prop or nabago yung itsura. Pero kung same pa rin, no need. No need to describe it again. The same with your character. Kapag na-introduce nyo na, may, may casting direction na sa isang scene, the rest of the scenes, name na lang yung gagamitin nyo for that character. We only, we only give uh, casting direction once. Yan ha. Ito yung mga tatandaan nyo na, meron ba kayo nito na sex scene Actor, initial, 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 and ongoing action. Okay. Kung casting director ako, ma ma makukuha ko ba yung tamang artista para dito sa role na to? Gumamit ba ako ng simple present tense? Kung third person ang ginamit ko, am, am I using the ing form of the verb? Next natin, sa action pa rin, ito itatanin nyo, am I describing, ba't kanyan yung spelling ko? Describing action or am I narrating? Anong ibig sabihin ko ng narrating, nagnanarrate? Ulitin natin ang ang action, ito yung makikita, maririnig ng audience. Yung scene heading, hindi yan makikita ng audience. Kasi scene heading lang yan eh. Production crew lang ang makakakita niyan sa script. Hindi yan nakikita. Ang narration, hindi yan nakikita. So for example, ito ginawa ko. Sarah is... Ano yung mabait? Is kind-hearted. Okay. So, pag shinot to, sige, tawag tayo ng di director. Jo Marie, are you there? Jo Marie, do you read me? Nagre-record pa ba tayo? Okay. So, ikaw ay director. Ito yung script mo. Ito lang yung action. Ito lang yung nakalagay sa action. O, paano mo isushoot to? Ako yung cameraman mo. Ano yung magiging instruction mo sa akin? Sa akin. May ano? Paano may shoot yan? Ha? Uy. Ano po? Kukuha po ng scene na ano? Action na 
Nagre- represent na ano nga po, napapakita ng kind heart. Tama. Kind heart. Tama 'yon kaso wala yung sa script. So kung ganito yung magsulat ng script, hindi eh, magi-improvise pa yung ano, yung director, 'di ba? Kind hearted is something that cannot be captured by the camera. So wag wag kayong magde-describe ng character na ganito. Ano bang nakikita ng camera? Yung appearance. Okay. So if you wanna show the audience that Sarah is kind-hearted, wag mong sabihin. Okay? Do not ah, ito pala. Show don't tell. Huwag sabihin na kind-hearted siya. Nagnanarate ka. Hindi makukuha na ng camera yan. Oh, hindi gumawa ka ng eksena, Sarah. Walks by a Sarah walks on the pavement on the mga yung tabi ng kalsada. Sidewalk. She sees a beggar on the street she ano nga yun uh, yes. she pulls out her purse and hands out Five million dollars pa. Five dollars. To the beggar. So, pinakita natin. We show the audience. Pag nakita ng audience, they will know Sarah is kind-hearted. We don't tell. Oh. Pwede sa dialogue. Edi sabi nyo sa dialogue. Sarah, sabi ng narrator sa dialogue. Sarah is kind-hearted. Mamaya, i-discuss natin yun. Show, don't tell. Another, another uh, common mistake. Ano pa yung mga ninanarate? Kasi sa, dun sa story structure, pwede tayo mag-narate. Sa novel, nag-narate. Dito, action lang talaga i-describe nyo. Ha? For example, Papuroy is a ano to? Uh, plumber. Matama ba to? Nagawin sa action. Yung occupation ba nakikita ka agad? Is it our occupations obvious at first glance? Kapag tinapatan ba ng camera ang isang tao, alam na kagad natin yung kanyang trabaho? Oo. Minsan, Minsan hindi. Not all occupations will be obvious. So in our case, plumber. Hindi, di ba? O kahit pa may makita tayo na naka-uniform, let's say naka-coverall, plumber na baka agad yun. Baka yun yung, ano, yung sa PLDT, pero yung sa ano. So if you wanna tell the audience that he is a plumber, hindi gagawa ka ng eksena, kapuroy, Knocks on the door of room 3. Room 101 of room 101. The door opens. The tenant directs him to the kitchen sink he opens the sink patag doon to check he checks the sink na lang he checks the sink na ba? Diba? with this scene alam na audience edi ano pala to 
tubero pala to. Pwede pa natin dagdan. Kapuro ay wears a coverall a dirty coverall he carries a big metal toolbox dinescribe natin yung prop so you get the idea some occupations are not obvious therefore you need to show and not tell so for example teacher pag sinabi mong he is a teacher hindi hindi sasapat kasi nga hindi naman obvious yung occupation na yon at first glance kahit ako pag hindi naman ako napapagaba ng teacher eh. so pwede mong sabihin we see a man inside the classroom oh yung location niya classroom meron kayong tao dun sa loob na naka long sleeves so it implies that that person is a teacher Pero some occupations are very obvious, like policemen. Pag sinabi mong police, pwede mo sabihin, a uniformed policeman appears. A uniformed police appears from out of nowhere. Grabe yun Kasi napaka-obvious naman ng police officer, di ba? Unless undercover siya. Kapag undercover siya, hindi nyo pa rin pwedeng sabihin na undercover police. Kasi hindi obvious yun eh. Oh. Hindi obvious yun. You need to show action para ipakita nyo na undercover pala na police yun. Kapag obvious, yung katulad nyan, yung mga uniformed, uh, uniformed uh, yung mga occupation na merong specific na uniform, na hindi tayo magdududa kung ano siya, pwede nyo siya gamitin. Pero pagkatulad ng mga teacher, masyadong vague, ano pa, yan, yung plumber, o, oh. systems analyst, sa isang tingin mo sa isang tao, maiisip mo na kagad yun, ah, system analyst to. Hindi naman, di ba? You need to show action. O, oh, pwede rin sa dialogue. O, oh, pwede, gusto mo. Eto, we see a man. We see a man Standing. We see a man na lang. We see a man. We see a man standing. Uh, sitting on a on a study table. On a desk. Okay. Tapos sabi mo sa cameraman, close up. On his name tag. Which says, Hi, I'm Bentong. I'm a system analyst. Hmm. Using the prop, sinabi mo kung anong trabaho niya. Pero yung sabihin mo na camera, itututok mo sa tao, tas malalaman ng audience niya, system analyst siya. Hindi. So, gagamitin lang natin na yung occupation to describe a, a character if that occupation is obvious. Ano pa yung mga obvious? Magbigay nga kayo ng mga obvious occupation. Uh, abadir. Magbigay ka nga ng isang obvious na occupation. Yung walang duda, kapag sinabi natin, Pedro is this, hindi na natin kailangan ng action para i-describe yung trabaho niya. Aba, dear, do you read me? Hello? Aba, dear. Hey. Ano yan? Uy! 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 Daniel Joy, DJ! Ba't wala si eh, ano? Ha? Cutting? Is this cutting? Ah, uh, ikaw na lang ano? 
Claire, Clyde Marion. Clyde Marion, do you read me? Are you with us? Yes, po, sir. Magbigay ka, ng, magbigay ka ng isang obvious na profession or occupation. Hmm. Uh, any volunteers? Obvious occupation. Doctor Poster. Doctor. Tama. Soldier. O oh, unless, oh, oh, unless yung character nyo sa eksena na, sa, unless may specific tayo na eksena wherein yung character is not in uniform, then huwag nyo sasabihin na he is a soldier. Sabihin nyo na lang, the man is wearing this, wearing that. And then, sa action nyo i-describe, eventually, yung kanyang occupation. I-reveal nyo pa ito yung Through action, we show, we do not tell. Okay? Ano pa mga obvious occupations? Usually, mga uniform. Hindi nga teacher eh, kasi wala talagang specific na uniform. Ang teacher. Diba? Kahit ako, mag-uniform ako ng todo-todo, may kapareho kami ng itsura na uniform eh, di ba? May kapareho kami eh. So, kailangan ilagay mo siya sa isang eksena wherein the audience will think that he is a teacher. So, location mo, interior, classroom. Action mo, we see a man on the table in front of uh, in front of the whiteboard. O, yun yung eksena mo, so yung character mo, iisipin din ng audience, the teacher yon Hindi obvious yung t- sa teacher. Hmm, ako nga, pag nasa pure gold, pinagtatanungan pa ako, napapagkamalun ako. Na. Kasi hindi nga obvious eh. E kung naka-uniform ako ng sundalo, pagtatanungan ba ako? O, police, na ano na natin yan, di ba? Basta mga uniformed, pas, uh, uniformed, tawag yan, professions, obvious. Hmm. Oh, si fortune teller, may uniform ba ang fortune teller? Unless pumasok uh dinescribe mo, dinescribe mo sa action. Oh, Sara enters establishment. The establishment has a signage which says Aling Teclas Fortune Teller. services. O di, di ba? Naikwento natin, naipakita natin na yung tao sa loob noon will be a fortune teller. So, we show, we do not tell. O, yun ang iiwasan nyo. Ito yung pinaka laging nangyayari. Nagnanarate. Hindi tayo nagnanarate, ha? Kapag hindi obvious, i-describe nyo talaga dapat. Pag hindi obvious. Okay? Yung mga ugali, hindi nyo ilalagay, hindi nyo inanarate yung ugali, ha? Ipapakita nyo. Gawa ka ng eksena. Oh, katulad nung kay Tony Stark. Oh, Tony Stark is arrogant. Oh, makukuha na ba ng camera to agad? na siya yun. Oh, pag nakakita ka na isang tao, ah, arrogant nito. Ganun ba yun? Eh, judgmental ka nun, di ba? Isip ka ng eksena, that will show this trait. So, iwasan nyo to sa action, ha? Ito pa, ano ba yung mga... Uh, did I avoid narrating? So, ano pa yung mga pagnanarrate? She dies. Oh, nagna-narrate ka nito, ha? Gumawa ka na eksena kung saan siya ay mamamatay. Hindi yung sasabihin, she dies. So, paano? She is happy with her life. 
Is this narrating? Yes. Paano mo kukuhanan to? Nakatayo, may nakatayo ka ng karakter, kukuhanan mo yung, kukuhanan siya ng camera. Paano niya i-aart yun? Nakangiti. O, edi isipin lang ng tao mo, masaya to. Paano iisipin ng tao na masaya siya sa buhay niya? Magpakita ka ng eksena. Okay? Show don't tell. Nasaan yun? Show don't tell natin na yan. Show don't tell. Ako nilagay. Para dito. Show don't tell. Pwede rin naman, you can tell using dialogue. Pero sa action, we do not narrate sa action. Ang narration niya sa dialogue, which is our next element. Dialogue. Dialogue natin, may dalawang parts. Character name, kung sino yung magsasalita, and then yung dialogue block. O, may sarili silang margin, okay? Sarili silang margin. Yung character name should be in all caps. Dialogue block will be normal casing. Sentence casing na. Yung character, hindi, guys, hindi yan center align na. Hindi yan center align. Yung left margin ang babaguhin nyo. Character, character name, 3.5. Margin left. Dialogue block, 2.5. Okay? So, sa Google Doc, paano yan? Uh, let's say, meron tayong dialogue dito. Character. Awag tayo dito magsulat. Docs. Baka hindi pa marunong mag-set ng margin, ha? Sige, pakita natin. Mabilis. Yung sa ruler yun. Sa ruler yung lalaroin nyo. Oh, may tayong character. All caps. Si Bentong. One style natin. Will be career. 12. Okay. Left. Left margin is 1.5. Pero ito, since this is a dialogue, it should be, what, 3.5. So, 1 inch, 2 inches, 3 inches, 5. So, dito dapat. Pwede doon. And then, yung dialogue sa baba niya is 1, 2.5. 2.5. Hello, Vlogs, this is my guys. Yan, hindi siya center aligned guys. Okay? Left aligned pa rin yan. Yung margin lang ang naiba. Don't worry, later we'll talk about yung formatting tool para automatic yung formatting. So, hindi naman ako mano-mano din nagpa-format eh. So, ito yung dialogue natin. Again, all caps ang character name. Let's take a look at the example. Asa na? Asa na? And, sentence casing. And, we have some other elements sa dialogue. Nakita niyo yung mga nasa parenthesis. Let's talk about the first one. Meron tayo parenthesis na nilalagay sa character name. This is called your extension. So, it describes the source of the dialogue. It modifies the dialogue. Okay? Pagkatahin sa dialogue. Uh, dito kay Sarah, the teacher speaks. Uh, since this is the first time we're mentioning the teacher, we need a casting direction. Uh, since this cast, hindi naman siya magpapakita. O kung ipapakita nyo siya, edi i-describe nyo yung appearance since kung bosses lang, edi yung bosses na lang i-describe nyo. Uh, 
very deep voice very deep and charismatic voice Diba? Sounds girl, girly voice. Wag naman. Doon na lang tayo sa very deep and charismatic. Kunyari, speaks. Lagay tayo dito ng dialogue ng teacher. Dito sa software na to, automatic din yung formatting niya. Kasi nag-aaway kami. Character. Teacher. Ito yun yung uh, hindi yan center align. Okay. Teacher. And then yung dialogue niya. Terte. Are you there? Okay. So, hindi ipapakita sa screen. Klase ako eh. Hello, Terte. Are you there? Hindi papakita sa screen. We are gonna use an extension. VO means voice over. So, hindi voice over to kasi actual na character to. Voice over lang to kung meron tayong non-character, let's say a narrator, voice over yun. Or sa animation, kung animation to, tapos boses lang talaga, voice over. Pero we have a character na may dialogue, hindi lang siya ipapakita sa screen. So, off-screen, OS, pwede rin off-camera. OS na lang. Ayun yung ibig sabihin nung OS. Sagot si Sarah. Oops. Sarah. Anong sabi ni Sarah kanina? Maglagay tayo ng action. No one answers. Dito maawag ulit yung teacher. Nakasagot eh. Teacher na naman. Nandyan. Nandyan ka ba? Kita nyo, meron automatic naglagay siya ng extension. Ibig sabihin nito continued. So, meron tayong dialogue from the same character na naputol because of an action. Pinagpatuloy lang. Okay? So, yun yung continued extension. Okay, tayo ng dialogue kay Sarah. Sarah. Ang sabi ni Sarah kanina? Yes po. Opo. Nandito po. Present. Po. 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 O po. O, ang galang niya, di ba? Very polite. And then, yung isa pa natin na element na nasa parenthesis is called a parenthetical. Okay? So, hindi sa character name nilalagay yung parenthetical. It's along with the dialogue. It describes a mini description. Oftentimes, it describes action happening before the dialogue or after or during the dialogue. Ang sabi natin, baka doon nagsalita si Sarah. Clears her throat. Ang sabi niya, ahem. Pwede, nang, pwede naman dialogue na yun eh. Ahem. Ahem. O, lumunok lang ano. Huwag na. Ne, pwede na yun. Tears. Fall. 
out of her left eye and went directly ang haba nun na eh. naiyak siya grabe attendance lang ah nag clear na lang clear sure to tapos meron pa tayo dito ah wag na meron next element natin so yun yung parenthetical ha ito yung i-avoid nyo sa parenthetical. Let's say dito, naglagay kayo, after ng dialogue, naglagay kayo dito, ng parenthetical. Sabi nyo, tears fall from her eyes. Tapos meron pa dito, isa pa. She looks. Then. Isang haba-haba. Guys, kung meron kayo yung parenthetical na ganito kahaba, gawin nyo na lang siyang action. Sa action nyo na lang ilagay. Kasi nagiging crowded yung dialogue. Tapos pa na yung parenthetical lang naman. I-action nyo na lang siya. Diba? Ayaw. Oops. At bagal nitong mga. Hmm. Action. Oh, ayaw talaga. Uy. Malag yung final drop ko. At sya malag. Highlight natin ka. Okay natin sya. So, mali yung verb tense ko, di ba? Mali yung verb tense. Te ah, hindi, tama pala kasi plural yung tears. Tama pala. Gawin nyo na lang siya action. At tandaan nyo ha, wag, wag natin, ano, gusto natin yung dialogue flow pag binasa, ano, dire-direcho tayo magbasa. Hindi yung paputol-putol dahil sa parenthetical. Lobat. Ito ba nata? Okay. Huwag kayo masyadong OA sa mga parentheticals. Hindi yung kada she blinks. Like a normal person. Ipaparentetical pa ba yan? Hindi na. She opens her mouth to speak. Hindi na. Obvious naman na mag bubuka bibig mo eh pag nagsalita ka. Makabay nyo yun ha. Make use of action instead of parenthetical. Huwag maging OA sa parenthetical. And next natin, yung huling element, transitions. Transition, uh, lagay ko dito. Ha. Transitions are only put transitions if applicable. O, hindi laging may transition lahat. Lagi na may transition. Hindi naman. Kung meron lang. Okay? Alam na natin to Transition sa PowerPoint. Meron to Sa video editing. Meron. Transition is used to uh, when switching between scenes. Or uh, transitioning to another scene. Ano yung mga common transitions natin? Transition. Walang suggestion. Walang suggestion. Fade in. Ito. Yung mga cut to, fade in, fade out, fade to, dissolve, jump cuts. Ayan. Sabi natin, fade to black. Ayan. 
Fade to black is an exit transition. Ha? Hindi nyo pwedeng fade to black. Pero start pa lang ng eksena. Tapusin natin itong kay Sarah. Meron tayong next na character dialogue. Si Seitad. Off screen si Seitad. Boses lang irinig natin yan. Sarah. Uy. Ay. Psst, Sarah. Uy. Is bamboozled. Ano nga yan? Is startled with the voice Satan. It's me, Satan. It's me, your friend. Ako to. Tropa ako to. Ako to. Trap call mo na yan. Trap call. Ano na yan. Nood ka na lang. Tulpo. Tulplix. 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 Diba? Dinidemonyo niya si Sarah, guys. Sama. Lagyan natin yung action. Sara. Tries to shake. The voice. Off. Say that. May bagong issue. Go, sis. We see. Overhead tayo, overhead. A close up. Close up on Sarah. Ay. Ano ba yun? She starts to sweat. Okay. We look over the phone screen. She switch up. She switches up. Saan ka nanonood ng Toolflex? Sa Facebook? Sa YouTube? Ano po yan? Ano po yan? Wow! Hindi niya alam ha. YouTube app comes up. She starts typing on the search box. Search box. Tulpo. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Tapos na yung script natin. Ayan. Okay. Masahin natin. Kapag kakasulat yung script nyo, maganda. Binabasa yun ang binabasa. Para uh, nado-double check nyo. If you have hit all the checklist natin, no? yung ito yung mga questions. Did you give instructions to the set and prop designer? To the actors. Am I describing action or am I narrating? Because we need to show, not tell. Balikan natin yung script. Dito sa ating action, no one answers. Pwede na ba yun? Are we narrating when we say no one answers? Pwede naman. Or you can say silence is heard. Parang ganun.
Uh, dito tayo sa parenthetical, clears your throat, hindi yan narating. Sarah is startled with the voice. Pwede. Tries to shake the voice off. Eto. She tries to shake the voice off. Pwede o narrate, narration ba to? O it can be, it is a valid action. Anyone from the class? Mali yung pangalan. Ay. Saman. Mm, si Ayn Jawa nito. Uh, John, Lo John Lloyd. Are you there? John Lloyd. At that pala siya yung next character. Hindi si Satan. Kaysa ang kagandaan dito sa final draft. Let's say, eh, may mga characters tayo. Tapos, sabihin natin yung script natin. Umabot na ng 1,000 pages. Gusto natin i-rename tong character na to. Pwedeng control F and then find, no? Kaso sasablay yun. Baka may isa o dalawang instance na hindi natin ma-rename. Sa final draft, madali. Merong replace character. So, pwede natin i-replace yung character. So, we are 100% sure na mapapalitan lahat. Saan yun? Hoy, John Lloyd, nasan ka? Sir, baka po mabagal yung net. Ah, okay. John Lloyd. Tama ba spelling ko? Pacheck nga. Parang mali, no? Patul patul po yung... Ganon? Spelling? Double L po. Tapos. Ganon? Ano sa internet ko? Ganon? Apa. Apa. Ayan. Yun yun ha. Tapos natin na okay. Di okay na. Tapos mayroong mga tools dito sa final draft. Let's say ready na kayo maghanap ng cast. May mga reports. So, pag ginamit yung report, hin, uh, hin, hindi kayo sasablay kasi nga may listahan kayo eh. Kung manumano nyo kukuhanin yan, baka may ma-miss out kayo na character, malimutan nyo hanapan ng cast. Di ba? na dito. Yung installer itong final draft nasa drive ko ha. Yung link nasa Discord. Kung gusto nyo gamitin. Pero for now, for this activity, one page lang naman to, gamitin natin is Google Docs. Okay? Google Docs. Mamaya i-ano natin. Pakita ko sa inyo yung kung paano sa Google Doc. For now, ito yung suggested ko. Pag bago kayo gumawa, panoorin nyo muna itong mga uh, clips na nilagay ko dito. YouTube, YouTube clips. It shows the script side by side with the script. Milk tea craving? Yeah, milk tea. Does it, does it depress you, Commissioner? Rinig yung audio. To know just how alone uh, you really are. Baba. It doesn't make you feel responsible for Harvey Tent's current predicament words. What's the time? What difference does that make? Depending on the time, he may be in one spot or several. Panoorin niya yan. Para mas magkaroon kayo ng mas better idea on how it's done. May Tagalog dito sa yung pang-apat Tagalog pa. So kahit Tagalog yung dialog, English pa rin yung pagsulat natin. Sa dialog nung tayo magkakagalog. Okay? By the way, hindi ko nabanggit ata kanina. Bakit napaka-importante ng ating paper size, ng mga margins, font size, font, uh, font style? Kasi ito na yung standard sa script. Standard siya, therefore, na 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 nagagamit na siya to estimate para matansya kung gaano kahaba yung runtime kapag shinoot yung script. Okay? So on the average, hindi naman sobrang hindi naman to 100% accurate. But on the average, one page of script is equivalent to one minute screen time pag shinoot siya on the average. So kapag ang requirement sa inyo ay 10 minutes ang ipapasa mong script. Ang aasahan nila na script ay from 10 to 12 pages, ganun. 
Okay, so natatan siya. So kung producer ako, sabi ko sa iyo, 2 hours yung movie natin. And this. Let's say commercial lang. Uh 2 minute haba din no. 2 no? minute commercial. Tapos ang ipinasa mo sa akin 30 pages na script. So, alam ko na sobra-sobra 'yon. O papaulit ko sa iyo. So nagagamit to to estimate the screen time. Again, one page of script is equivalent to one minute screen time. So uh, watch the clips so you can have better idea on uh, how screenplay is written. Ito yung una nating tool na na-discuss. For now, wag nyo muna gamitin to kasi hindi ko ma-chechikan agad. But this is downloadable from our drive. Uh, automatic kasi yung formatting pag ito. Pag Google Docs, we have two add-ons that you can use. Fountain is yung ginamit ko dun sa sample. But you can also use screenplay formatter. So, pakita ko sa inyo kung paano siya ginagamit. I-google nyo lang yan. Google nyo lang. So, fountain nice. Fountainize pala. Fountainizer ba yung nakalagay sa oh, Fountainize. Oh. Ang kukuha niyo yung link from workspace.google.com Don't worry, hindi naman to mag install sa device nyo. Ito ay yung mag install sa Google Docs. Doon sa account nyo, sa Google account nyo. Lilitaw siya sa Google Docs. So, sa Google Docs, it's gonna come up from your add-ons option. Yan. Uh, how do you use it? Oh, Kaka-copy-paste ko tong script from Final Draft. Hmm, Copy-paste. So, pwede sa Google Docs ganito. Isulat nyo ng isang diretsyo yung inyong script. Okay. Makakopy nga sa notepad to. Wait lang. Kuha tayo ng bago. New. So, yung uh, starting document natin sa Google Docs, iba yung font size, iba yung font style. Margins are, are the default yung 1 inch. Na pwede, magsulat kayo ng isang diretso, katulad nito, para hindi masira yung train of thought nyo. And then, gamitin nyo yung add-on. Kaya gusto ko rin ng Google Doc, nakukuha talaga yung ano, yung, mas magaling siya mag-check ng grammar. Tulad nito. At a... Kasi kaya on yung ginamit ko kasi sa mobile phone siya nag-attend eh. Hindi naman sa isang actual na physical video, physical conference. Sarah, a young adult, pretty, wow. Okay, how do you use the add-on? So, meron kayong script, unformatted, go to add-ons, fountainize, format script. Matic na yung margins, matic na yung font style, font sizes, line spacing. O, line spacing natin single lang ha. Single. Pag double-double yan, sasablay tayo sa pag-estimate ng screen time. Okay na to. Ang sumasablay lang sa fountainize, yung ano, yung subheader, sasablay yung subheader. Ayan, yung skinita, sasablay yan kasi Kapag ka nagpo-format siya ng scene heading, hinahanap niya yung IE or int x kaya malalaman niya na scene heading. Ang subheaders natin walang scene head, walang ganun. So aakalain niya ito ay character, skinita. Same thing for transition. Hindi niya hindi niya pa nakukuha yung transition. So let's say may paid in tayo dito. Aakalain niya character to. So, Tingnan niyo, ay format ko. O, oh, akala niya, character. Ay, hindi nag-format. Ano ba yan? Okay, ulit. Yan. O, akala niya, character yung transition. Sa so, itamaan niyo na lang, i-right align niyo na lang yung transition. Tapos, natin yung, ito, subheader dapat. 
So, akala niya, character na naman. Tapos, yung next, akala niya, dialogue nito. So, itama niyo na lang. I-left align niyo na lang. Uh, tama niyo yung margin, 1.5. Uh, Nasa pa isa? Yung living room. Wala. Ah, ito pala yung living room. Street. Tapos, eskinita. O, akala niya, para dialogue. Tama niyo na lang. Oh, dun pa rin ahead yung final draft. Sa pag-format talaga. Okay. Again, yung transition, lalagay nyo lang kung meron. Kung wala naman, hindi wala. Panoorin nyo yung clip. Kung ano lang meron sa clip, yun lang ilalagay. Okay? Yung dialogue, kung ano yung sinasabi, hawag nyo i-base dun sa subtitle. Kasi Tagalog yung dialogue eh, yung subtitle English. Kailangan natin yung actual na dialogue from the characters. Okay? Questions? May questions ba? Pwede na ako mag-assign ng assignment. Assign ko na yung assignment. Oh, ano to? To C. Let's work. Today to ah, 5 p.m. Maiksi lang naman yung clips eh. Dalawa lang pati. It's a day. 5 p.m. Okay. Ayan. Yung mga gagamitin na pa-attach na. Okay. 10 points. Minus, minus 1. Kada mali. Pag formatting, wala na. Bagsak na yun. Huwag na kayong umasang. May grade na maganda yun. O papasa yun. Mahigpit tayo sa formatting. Kaya gumamit na kayo ng add-on. Para hindi kayo, para sure ball. Okay. May questions ba? Naka-assign na ha. Naka-assign. O class, do you have any questions regarding the activity? Gawin nyo, pasadahan nyo ulit yung document, yung instructions, yung lecture. Tsaka kayo magsagot. Pag nagpagkasagot nyo, I-analyze nyo pa ulit. Okay? Match it against the lecture ulit. Para sure ball. Kasi kailangan natin ng magandang trabaho. Okay? Questions? Opo, sir. Questions? Wala? I'm gonna check the attendance. Alas 10 na. So. Wait lang. Yeah. Screenshot. Okay. Delete ko lang itong pangalan ko. Daily course. Tapos. Ay. 200. Right. Hindi pa rin kasha. Sobra. 90. 89. 85. Yeah. Okay, web on. Come on. Open web. Anong tawag na? Picture tayo. Let's picturize ourselves. You know. Web on. On camera. Open world. Open cam. Yun. Yun ang tama. Ah, nagpagapit si ano, oh, si Angelina. Epekto ng quarantine. Hindi, summer na yun, ah. Mabanas. Mapakita mo nga yung dead body dyan sa kwarto mo. Sarah. <laughs> Yung mga napili natin last time sa story structure, kayo yung unahin kong checkan, ha? Pero syempre, yung iba natin classmates, may chance pa rin sila na mapili as scriptwriter. Basta galingan nyo, agandahan nyo yung sulat. 
Okay. Ah, antay ko lang lumitaw lahat dito. Hindi ako kasama. Ba't nang nangyagin? Yun. Panilitin ko lang yung aking. Hi, Abadiel. Tinatawag ka kanina. Wala ka, ha? Sarap mo. Sarap mo. Oh, wala ka. Wala ka po, sir. Mumba ka sa saan ka bumba. Bye, bye po. Sa hell? Tumakamutan po sa glit. Jumuti ka pa, ha? Diba ka? Majuti ka, ha? Mabagal na tayong ano ko, hindi pa nalabas lahat. Sinong kompleto na yung web on? Para lumitaw lahat ganito, guys, ha? Pag kayo yung magpapa-screenshotin ko, ganito. Change nyo yung layout. O, oh, tinan nyo yung layout, ha? Kita nyo? Ito, change layout. Meron dito ng ano eh. Ito. Meron kayo nito. Para ma-display lahat. Oh. Sinong kompleto na? Kasi sa akin hindi pa. Oh, hindi pa nalabas yung iba. Mabagal na ano ko. Nakala na lang ako yung giga. Giga, giga. Hindi ako na nga lang. Game 1, 2, 3. Isa pa. One, two, three. Serious. Oh, serious. Serious style. Serious. Wacky. side view. Okay na, naantayin ko yung gawa nyo, babasahin ko agad yung sa ano natin. Kailangan na natin makapili. Ito na yung last na writing activity para makapag-focus. Hindi ako makagawa ng video lecture, gawa nito eh. Ang dami laging chinechikan. 